drug development in the next five years certainly will be heading towards breakthrough innovation approaches. Right now already patients, investigators, physicians, health authorities, payers, they are scrutinizing the value of new medicines. So really we need to think about how can we make uh, drug development in a way that it provides meaningful outcome for the patients. So I'm working in the early clinical phase, so we are always the first ones who are bringing a new drug to the humans, which is a very special task in development. We need to be much closer to the physicians and to the patients. We need to react to the data which we're seeing in the trials much quicker than in the late stage development. I think the most interesting difference is we are hypothesis generating, we are exploring, we want to learn. And in the later phase, you have your confirmatory development where your hypothesis testing. I think it needs a different mindset for the people working in early as in the, on the company side as well as on the investigator side. And it of course needs different tools. We have we need a different speediness uh, to react. We need more flexibility in our trials. First thing we need to do in order to be able doing that is we need to understand the patient needs. And that's, again, a big trend for the next years. We need to involve patients even more into our development activities. Wearables are a good way to really um, collect more data than we could do just with a, with a visit-based clinical trial structure. People are getting more and more used to um, using wearables in their daily life, so that's a, a very good element of getting access to broader data. If we are able to use that to get more dense data in a longitudinal manner that we can get data in a more real life setting that will help us to design our trials in a way that we can get to earlier results with less patients, with less money. On the other hand, of course, um, we need to focus and we need to understand that with all the data out there, we need to focus on really seeing the data which are relevant for us. How can we structure them, how can we analyze them, and how can we make sure that we draw meaningful conclusions out of them. So with regard to big data and, and new technologies, there are certain elements which we are already right now at Bayer evaluating and trying to implement in our trials. One element is that we want to get access to databases which are out there to get real life data. We are trying to use uh, telemetric devices so that people can take measurements at home so that we have a direct access to those data so that the physician can see what the, what the patient is me measuring at home. We can react to those data. We are in much closer contact there. So I think that will help us a lot to really streamline and, and optimize our clinical trial designs.